Oh, Hello guys, so today I am 24. It's my birthday. So happy birthday, Sam. We all got, got all ready. ready. Uh, we got ready because we are doing a interview by Maruza, which is a talk show host that is popular here in Romania. So we're very excited about that. And then after that, probably just sightsee some more. See you around. So we are on set. Basically, we're walking to the studio where they're going to film the interview. For This is our look for the, the interview. Și mai ales că numele trupei Liliac mi se pare că e foarte fain, a fost dat în urma uh, unei experiențe interesante. Cum a fost? Ei încercau să-și caute un nume și au vrut uh, un nume scurt și m-au întrebat, tata, cum se zice bat în Romanian? Și am zis Liliac. Și atunci au ales numele, au zis, Și ei au vrut, practic, un nume românesc sau... Uh... Da, au vrut să fie ceva unic. Liliac, Liliac. it's here, yes, of course. <laughs> Hai să vedem. Samuel are 24 de ani. Astăzi e ziua ta? Da. Yes, today is my birthday. Bă. Aici, la emisiunea noastră, uh, îi sărbătorim altfel pe sărbătoriții zilei, Aia, numai o secundă. Un platou cu ceva mâncăruri românești de ziua ta. Păcat că n-am două lumânări. Ai suflat vreodată în mămăligă? <laughs> Ethan are 16 ani și când la chitară, bas. Yeah, I play. That... Melody, care e solista. 21 de ani? Yes, I'm 21. Abigail uh, e la Tobe, 23 de ani. Mulți înainte. Yes. Justin, 15 ani la clape. Yes. Uh, Samuel, știi ceva în română? Ești foarte frumoasă. Știu. Dacă vrei să saluți pe cineva din România, acum e momentul. Dragoș. La cine e Dragoș? Pe ai zis că uh, E aici din București, uh, dar nu știu numele lui de familie. Dragoș Cristia? <laughs> His last name, right? Oh, yeah, Dragos Christi are același nume ca mine. Înainte de a face un birthday party, am vrut să... Asta este lui Abigail. Cei doi copii avem Liliac. Mamă, astea sunt și semnate de ea. Da. Asta e mascota voastră, Liliac. Da. Și aici aveți CD-ul, T-shirts. Când o să ajungeți mega, mega celebri în America, o să păstrez emisiunea și o să zic vreți bețele lui Abigail de la trupa Liliac? Iată, un milion de euro! Suflă, mă, deci fii atent. Mulți ani trăiască! Happy birthday! Pam, pam, pam! Asta ați românești! Bravo, asta e! Vă mulțumesc mult de tot, aveți grijă de voi, da? Trupa Liliac, căutați-i pe Facebook sau pe Instagram. So, Romania is treating us very well. It has a... All of the dragon. And we really like it here. I really like it. It's so pretty. I can't believe I'm in Romania. Bello, how was it for you? Did you like it? Good. Uh, we're here, we're walking back to the apartment. Justin, hey. Ethan. Hi. So, yeah, look at oh, this yeah, okay. beautiful view here, guys. See, it's so pretty. It's a, oh, oh, don't look at that. No, we don't. <laughs> You guys ready to drink? No. Ethan, you're legal. No. So there's a, 
a fast food restaurant franchise whatever in Romania called Luca and I really like it so I'm saying they need to bring Luca to America Going to the castle of Dracula <laughs> We're here in Brasov and this little area is so adorable. We're gonna go eat something and then we're gonna go see the castle. Park in front of our car. This is crazy. This car was parked right in front of us. Luckily, the vehicle operator left their phone number on the windshield and we were able to call them to move their car. Hello, guys. So, we're here in Brasov and we are in front of the castle of Dracula. So, we're gonna walk there and show you guys everything. Feminine mythical creatures described as girls who appear at night by floating in the air, singing and dancing. Sam, oh no. Oh no. It's the scary part. The Strigoi are the living dead, people born with a membrane or other genetic abnormalities. The emptied body takes the soul of the living creature and continues to haunt their relatives at night. Vrkolaci are people who were given the power at birth to turn into wolves. In Romania, the action takes place during the day. Vlad Zepish, his reign started on September 10, 1456 and was characterized by permanent conflicts. The conflicts intended to demonize Vlad by accusing him of two close relations with the Ottoman Empire. Vlad the Impaler was determined to consolidate royal authority to the detriment of the great boyars. He surrounded himself with a number of devoted people while mercilessly punishing those that betrayed him. Look, when Dracula wanted to seize his enemies, all he has to do is just shoot him. The stake, as the punishment tool of choice, can be considered part of a strategy meant to intimidate his opponents. In 1897, Bram Stoker built the prototype of vampire stories in the novel Dracula. In the movie business, Dracula is perhaps one of the most filmed fictional characters in history appearing in no less than 430 movies as of 2020. Guys, we're going thousands of feet underground. <gasps> oh, would you look at that? It's scary. Oh my gosh. No, we're not kidding. We're going, we're going a lot, like very deep, deep down. Oh, there's a dragon. <laughs> It opened. Oh my gosh, it opened. <gasps> Yo! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my 
my gosh, you guys scared us. Yeah, let's go. The bats. Yeah, they made him AI. Oh. He kind of looks like us. Like the ice. Oh my gosh, there's us. No way. Hello guys, we are here at Castle of Dracula. We just finished, saw the whole thing was super fun. We and now it. we're gonna go back to Bucharest and eat. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Hello. Dad's getting Luca again. We're having like Luca every morning. Sam's at the gym, which he never tells us to go. So I kind of be like, that I'm not going, but then again, I thought, oh, it's vacation, so I didn't thought I was gonna go, but yeah. Anyway, see you guys at the Palace of People. here in Romania. We're early in the morning, we're like out. We're yeah. gonna be going to France. I'm wearing a Romania hat that Alana Russell made for us. So thank you. Thank you. We're gonna go see the house of the people and then probably do some more fun stuff. So we'll take you along. Sam got a clean cut. This is my Looks good. The second biggest building in the world. It was only built with Romanian material from Romania. We are at the Palace of People. We are sitting on the front porch. Apparently there's only one person who made a speech outside that balcony and it was Michael Jackson. And he was visiting this palace and he saw his fans outside and he was like, oh, I love you Budapest, instead of Bucharest. It was so funny. So we just finished um, the, tour, the tour and we only saw 3% 3 3 of the whole building. <laughs> so yeah. They said it takes like weeks to see it all. To it's see it all. Very, very big. It's huge. But it was fun. Success! <laughs> It's called Terme. Oh my god, I'm so it's excited like to giant, show you. Well, it's, it's a giant salt pool, so it's supposed to like relax our muscles and stuff. It's gonna be and so nice. And then
that's it. It was so amazing and beautiful. It was amazing, relaxing, yeah. and this will be the end of our Romania trip. And no. tomorrow we're going to France. Oh, Sirachi de Noi. Goodbye, Romania. Bye. Oh, yours truly. We love you. We're going to visit you again. Do your best. Do your best. Do your best. Romania. Do your best.